As part of the Ontario Geological Survey, the Geoscience Laboratories, or Geolabs, has built a reputation as a dynamic, world-class, inorganic, geoanalytical facility, capable of applying its expertise to benefit the geological challenges of the province and world at large. Originally created as a means of encouraging prospecting and exploratory development of mineral deposits in Ontario, the laboratory services have expanded in recent years in order to align it with the evolving priorities of the province. Although not limited to the following, data produced in the laboratory is used to assist in the following areas. Economic development through mineral investment, groundwater resources, land use planning, and climate change. With a legacy of over 100 years of service to the province of Ontario, the Geolabs has worked hard to achieve its reputation for delivering high-quality, research-grade mineralogical and inorganic chemical analysis of geological samples. The uh, Geoscience uh, Laboratories uh, started in 1898 in Belleville, Ontario in response to the gold activity that was taking place uh, in southern Ontario in the Grenville province and uh, it was that time it was called the uh, Provincial Assay Office. In 1911 the Provincial Assay Office moved from Belleville to Toronto and was located in Queen's Park uh, and then it was subsequently I believe in about 1928 moved to 77 Grenville Street. In 1991 with the relocation of our ministry to uh, Sudbury, Ontario, the Geoscience Laboratories also moved to Sudbury and was relocated in the uh, Willett Green Miller Center where we're currently housed today. Through the use of leading analytical technologies and the application of appropriate methods, the Geolabs are able to build a comprehensive data set for each sample submitted that is of the highest quality. Services offered by the Geolabs include X-ray fluorescence on fused discs or pressed powder pellets, trace element analysis on acid digested or leached samples, electron probe microanalysis on polished sections or grain mounts, also including mineral identification and element mapping, reference material production and characterization, precious metals analysis using fire assay pretreatment, particle size analysis, carbon sulfur by combustion IR, ferrous iron by titration, Chittick method for determination of calcite and dolomite, fluoride by ion selective electrode analysis, acid base accounting, and finally customized method development to address specialized client requirements. To accommodate the requests of the OGS geologists, it's often necessary for the labs to put together customized methods or approaches in order to handle non-conventional samples. Under such conditions, the close coupling between the lab and the survey geologists allows the best quality of data to be produced. Uh, there are certain advantages to working with a lab that's part of your organization. And one of them is that we have direct access to the lab. Another one is that, that they are able to tailor, tailor the, um, uh, the programs and, and, and their, their deliverables to what we need. And this is very important because we have quite unusual, as a, as a, uh, a geological survey, we have quite unusual needs geochemically. And uh, we are looking at uh, literally hundreds of elements and compounds, and we're trying to determine what the real background concentrations of these are. And when you get down to those very low levels, uh, not only do you need very um, uh, custom tailored uh, uh, analyses, you need uh, a good degree of accuracy, which is quite difficult to achieve. Uh, this requires greater care, and, uh, and we really do appreciate having Geolabs because we are able to, um, uh, we're able to, able to interact with them and achieve these, uh, these requirements. We need to know the quality of our data, uh, considering we publish that, and we also use it from year to year. So it's important to know exactly um, our quality of data from year to year and making sure that everything is consistent with each other. Uh, that helps us uh, for releasing our uh, publications. Sometimes um, we have particular problems or particular questions we're trying to answer. We might want to know if it's um, a regional till sheet or if we're looking at small-scale variations. So Geolabs is able to help us answer some of those questions, whether if it's looking at some of the chemistry of the samples or strictly grain size. 
we've been able to work with the with geolabs if we have different questions or if we want to modify our procedures we've been able to do that we've been able to tailor things to our specific samples or specific questions so that's really helpful too Although our support for other sections of the survey remain our top priority, we are proud of the strong relationships we have built with researchers in private industry and academia. It is relatively difficult to find a lab that gives really high quality data. Uh, at, originally I had my own lab at the University of Toronto where many of these techniques were actually developed, but um, uh, I no longer have that since I retired. and. Uh, your lab, in my opinion, gives the best results. I've used the, the uh, PGE analyses and, and then all the other lithogeochemical analyses that I get along with those on quite a few research projects, everything from undergraduate student thesis projects to, uh, to papers that I've published in, in high-impact journals like Nature and Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. The, the, the main sort of recent interest has been through uh, a large research project which uh, began um, about six or seven years ago now, um, which was collecting platinum group element data in um, a type of volcanic rock called comartiites, which are very important rocks for hosting nickel sulfide deposits and um, hosts a number of important deposits here in, in, in Ontario. Um, and uh, the, the objective really was to collect a large database which was um, of research quality, so we'll be able to get science, scientific quality publications out of it, but also to be able to collect a sufficient volume of data that it was going to be of use to the exploration industry. So that, 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 that's really what we needed and we were very happy with what we've got. And um, I think the, a measure of that is that um, we've now published a number of, 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 of papers on, on the work that we've done, including, um, including a paper in Nature last year which drew on, on, on quite a bit of data that was collected here. We're not, we're not explorers, we, we're researchers and we're trying to understand processes, right, and, and how these deposits form. And, and having the, the good data means that we can actually have a really good chance to, to, to crack open the, the processes that form these various ore deposits that we're interested in. So th those are the sort of the, the major reasons I, I use the, the lab. It's, I, I know every sample I sent here, I'm going to get data that I can count on. It's going to be reliable. And, and when I get it, it's going to have really low detection limits. And it's going to give me elements that I can't get anywhere else. So major reason for using the labs. With an appreciation of its origins and an eye to the future, the Geolabs are proud to be an important component of the Ontario Geological Survey. With an expanding scope of ISO 17025 accredited methods, the Geolabs remain committed to performance excellence.